The 10 kilometer comfort trap. If you can run 10 kilometers comfortably, theoretically, you should be able to break two hours in the half marathon easily, but you cannot. You try and you fail. You hit two hours and five minutes or two hours and eight. And the most frustrating part is that you don't feel unfit. You just feel incapable of holding the speed. Why? Because you are suffering from a specific training disease called the comfort trap. Most runners believe that moving from 10 kilometers to 21 kilometers is just a matter of adding miles. This is a lie. The problem is not your volume. The problem is not your shoes. The problem is that you are exercising, not training. You have the engine of a sub-2 runner, but you are driving it with the map of a recreational jogger. In this video, I am going to walk you through the three deadly signs that prove your structure is broken. I want you to treat this video as a diagnostic test. Count how many of these mistakes you are making right now. Mistake number three is the one that destroys 90% of sub-2 attempts at kilometer 17. Let's see if you are guilty. Sign one, the one speed curse. You have only one gear. This is the most common symptom of the 10 kilometer runner. Look at your running watch history for the last month. What is the pace of your easy run? Maybe five minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer. What is the pace of your hard run? Maybe five minutes and 40 seconds per kilometer. If the difference between your slow day and your fast day is less than 40 seconds, you are in serious trouble. You are stuck in what science calls the gray zone. Let me explain the physiology of why this destroys your sub two potential. When you run in this middle zone, you are running too fast fast to stimulate your slow twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for endurance. But you are also running too slow to stimulate your fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for speed and lactate clearance. Biologically, you are in no man's land. You feel like you are working hard because you are sweating. But your mitochondria, the power plants of your cells, are not adapting. You are accumulating junk fatigue. You wake up every morning with heavy legs, but you are not getting faster. To break two hours, you need polarity. You need to run your easy days embarrassingly slow, at 6 minutes and 30 seconds, or even 6 minutes and 40 seconds. This requires ego control, but by running slow, you flush the legs, you build capillary density, and most importantly, you save your glycogen. So, when Tuesday comes and the schedule says threshold intervals, you have the energy to run at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. If you don't have slow gears, you will never have fast gears. Sign 2, the fake workout. You don't have specific roles for your days, this is where the lack of structure becomes obvious. If I asked you, what was the physiological goal of last Tuesday's run, what would you say? If your answer is to get some miles in, or to burn calories, or to feel good, you failed the test. A sub-2 runner never just runs. Every single day in a proper training week must have a specific architectural role. If you don't know the role, you are wasting the run. Let me give you an example of a structured week versus a random week. In a random week, you go out on Tuesday and run 8 kilometers at a medium pace. In a structured week, Tuesday is lactate clearance day. You run 2 kilometers warm up. Then you run 4 times 1 kilometer at exactly 5 minutes and 20 seconds pace with 90 seconds rest. Then you cool down. The goal is specifically to teach your body to recycle lactate while fatigued. In a random week, Thursday is another medium run. In a structured week, Thursday is aerobic maintenance. You run 10 kilometers, but you are strictly forbidden from letting your heart rate go above 145 beats per minute. The goal is purely cardiac efficiency. If your week looks like a flat line of random runs, you are building a ceiling over your head. You are getting better at running 10 kilometers comfortably, but you are not building the specific engine required for 21 kilometers at speed. Structure means every run is a brick in a wall. If you just throw bricks in a pile, you don't have a wall. You have a mess. The metabolic wall. Before we get to the third sign, we need to address the fuel. The reason you can run 10 kilometers comfortably but crash in the half marathon is metabolic. A 10 kilometer run is short enough that you can power through it mostly on stored sugar or glycogen. A half marathon takes two hours. Your glycogen stores are not enough. If you don't have structure, your body never learns to burn fat at race pace. This is why you feel great at kilometer 12, but suddenly empty at kilometer 18. This is called hitting the wall. It is not a fitness failure, it is a metabolic failure caused by a lack of training variety. Sign 3. The Sunday Mistake The most common and dangerous mistake of all, the Sunday mistake. You treat your long run as just time on feet. You go out for 16 or 18 kilometers. You chat with friends. You listen to a podcast. You enjoy the scenery. You run the whole thing at a comfortable slow pace and you finish feeling tired but happy. You think you did a good job, but you didn't. Here is the harsh truth that separates the finishers from the racers. To break two hours, just finishing the long run is not enough. Your body knows how to run slow for two hours. That is easy. What your body does not know is how to run fast when it is already tired. 
The sub-2 barrier requires specific endurance. If you never inject race pace blocks into your long runs, you are unprepared. In the hybrid system, we use something called the fast finish long run. This means you run the first 14 kilometers slow, but for the final four kilometers, you must speed up to your sub-2 goal pace. This is brutal, it hurts, but it teaches your brain and your legs to execute proper mechanics when your energy is low. If you never practice this hybrid style of fatigue management and training, you will fade at kilometer 17 of the race every single time because you trained your body to endure but you didn't train it to race. The diagnosis. So how did you do? Be honest with yourself. Did you recognize yourself in the one speed curse? Are you running in the gray zone? Are you guilty of the random week with no defined roles? Or are you making the Sunday mistake of cruising through your long runs? If you nodded yes to any of these, I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that if you continue this way, you will run two hours and five minutes forever. The good news is that you do not have a fitness problem. You have a structure problem. You have the engine. You have the potential. You're just driving without a map. You don't need to run more miles. In fact, you probably need to run less, but with higher precision and clearer intent. The inner circle. Before I give you the map, I want to invite you to the place where we fix these structures daily. If you want to understand the science behind every workout, not just blindly follow orders. If you want to know exactly what to eat before that fast finish long run, join the channel membership. It is the inner circle where I explain the science behind the schedules. Click the join button to get access to exclusive badges, emojis, and priority responses to your questions. The audit. And if you are completely lost, if you have been stuck at two hours and five minutes for two years and you are frustrated, if you have injuries that keep coming back because of the gray zone training, send me a message for personal coaching. I will audit your data. I will look at your heart rate graphs. I will find exactly which of the three signs is holding you back, and I will build a custom plan to destroy it. The solution. But for 90% of you watching this, the fix is immediate. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just need the right blueprint. This transition from the comfortable 10K runner to the sub two half marathon athlete is exactly why I wrote my book, Half Marathon Sub Two Hours, The Hybrid System. I wrote this book specifically to fix the three deadly signs we just talked about. It fixes sign one by giving you exact pace zones. It forces you to run slow on recovery days so you can smash the threshold days. No more gray zone. It fixes sign two by assigning a specific physiological role to every single day of the 16 week plan. You will never guess what to run again. And it fixes sign three by introducing the hybrid long runs. It gives you the exact progression of fast finish runs that teach your body to crush the final five kilometers of the race. If you can run 10 kilometers comfortably, you are ready for this book. You are standing at the door. This book is the key. Go to the link in the pinned comment or description. Download Half Marathon Sub 2 Hours, The Hybrid System. Stop exercising, start training, and watch how easily that two-hour barrier falls when you finally have a plan. Check the link below. Your running journey powered by science.